In this video, we're gonna talk about how to map out every lesson of your mini course. We've been talking about mini courses in this series. This is day 25 of Crush It on Kajabi in 90 days, where we've been looking at how to build, start, and grow your business on the best platform that there is for online business, which is called Kajabi. So welcome, my name's Lane. We're gonna get into this. I'm gonna give you a system and a process for planning out every lesson of your mini course. So if you have questions like, how do I get started? What is the introduction gonna be? How am I gonna conclude the course? What are the lessons? How many should I have? How, how should I price it? All those questions we're gonna deal with today and in the days that come. And if you're thinking about jumping on Kajabi, this is the best time to do it. You're gonna get a 30 day free trial with my link below, lanesebring.com slash Kajabi. You're also gonna get a 45 minute Zoom call with me. We're gonna talk about your business, talk about Kajabi, make sure you get the best possible start on that platform. And also, I wanna give you my $25,000 course launch email template. These are the exact emails and email strategy that I used to launch my first course Course, which made over $25,000 in the first three launches. So with my link, you get the 30-day free trial, you get the Zoom call, and you get the course launch email template, all as a way to say thank you for using my link, which is an affiliate link. So when you use it, I do get a small commission. So if you appreciate what we're doing here on this channel and it's helping you out, and you plan on jumping on the Kajabi anyway, then I'd appreciate it so much if you used my link. So you're planning out a mini course and you're trying to figure out how do I structure this? How do I map it out? What comes first, second, third, all that. The first thing you need to do is ask two questions of your audience. We talked about this yesterday. So if you missed that, go watch it because there's two really important questions you need to ask. What are your challenges and what are your goals related to your niche? Once you've done that, we talked about the escape arrival continuum. What are you helping people escape from and what are you helping people arrive to? And then what are the milestones along the way to get them there? Because that exercise is going to help you to create your lessons. So what we're gonna do today is take that work that you did and look at the answers that people gave you. What did they tell you that they were challenged by and what did they tell you that their goals were? Remember, these are frustrations and goals. These are challenges and desired outcomes. Again, escape and arrival. What are you helping people escape from and what are you helping people arrive to? Now, when you take all that information, you really wanna drill down on one problem that you're gonna solve. That's the best way to make a mini course work. A flagship course, which we'll talk about later in this series, is gonna cover multiple problems or you're gonna teach people how to learn multiple skills. But a mini course really drills down on one thing that you're gonna teach people how to do, you're gonna help them solve this problem, you're gonna answer this question, you're gonna give them the skills they need to do one thing really well. That's what a mini course does and that's what a mini course is. So when you have that information and you've got the answer to that question, what is this mini course going to do? What problem is it going to solve? Now we need to map it out. And again, this goes back to that escape arrival paradigm. I would actually get out paper, like actual paper, maybe a notebook, and draw a line. On the left side, put the word escape, and on the right side, put the word arrive. And then under the word arrive, I want you to write out the goal. Like what is this course going to do? What is the outcome of this course going to be? What are you helping people arrive to? And then under the word escape, I want you to think about the present condition that your students are going to come into your course in. So in other words, when somebody joins your course and you're gonna get them to this desired outcome, where are they beginning? Right, so let's say that you're a fitness trainer and you're trying to help people get a handle on their food. You're not trying to teach them how to lift weights. You're not trying to teach them which exercises to do. You're not trying to teach them everything. You're just trying to help them create good habits around their food. So maybe the end result is going to be at the end of this course where I want people to arrive to is a sense of feeling in control and on top of their daily food intake. That's all we're doing. So when people come into this course, where are they starting? That's a really important question to ask. So for this, it may be that they feel out of control. Maybe they feel like they don't know what they're eating so they can't get a handle on it. Maybe they can't control their cravings. So write this down and really sum it up in one succinct statement that kind of encapsulates what you're trying to help people get away from. What are you helping them escape from? 
And then where you're helping them arrive is going to be this place of being in control and having a handle on their food and a handle on their food intake. So along the way, we've got milestones. Those milestones are going to turn into lessons. So when you think about it, to get one step further, what do people need to know? What do people need to do? And then to get another step, what do they need to know? What do they need to do? And again, another step. And I would say a mini course is gonna be five, six, maybe seven lessons where you're just taking people further and further along this path to the desired end. Once you've mapped it out on paper, now it's time to put it into a format that you can pull up every day and that can always be with you. I suggest Google Sheets. They're free, they're super easy to do. And so what I did for a recent mini course that I made is I had the title of the course or the tentative title of the course, and then I had a set of things that had to be accomplished in order for the mini course to be completed, like recording the lessons, building the slides, building the worksheets that go with the slides, uploading the lessons, writing the description into Kajabi, all of those things, and I put them on a spreadsheet so that I could see every single task that I need to do. And I would either put done on the task or I would put none. None just meant that it was not applicable to that particular lesson. I've done this for both courses that I've made and my membership site. And what it's done is it's helped me to see the end from the beginning. And also as I make progress building the course, I'm able to see, wow, this is coming together. I've really done a lot. I've got 50% left or I've got 75% left. Now you may choose to put all of this on paper. You may choose to use something like Trello or Asana. That's totally fine you can do whatever helps you but just make sure that you map out every single bit ahead of time tomorrow we're going to get into building your slides and building your worksheets and other pdfs and supporting documents it's going to be awesome but today put pen to paper and then put it on the spreadsheet and you'll be ready to go if you're ready to jump onto kajabi be sure to use my link below don't forget to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of the videos in this series and leave me a comment below if you have any questions and i'll be sure to answer them in future videos in this series at this point you can check out this playlist right here where I'm going to go into more depth about Kajabi and you can see if it's right for you. So click right here on this playlist and I'll join you in there or you can just wait for the next video to pop up. I'll see you tomorrow.